looking at at uh, life and medicine and what we should or shouldn't be doing with our bodies. So welcome, Anthony Bevan. I hope I didn't. Did I say that correctly? I forgot to ask. You did. Okay. So good. <laughs> we don't have to make any corrections there. Start over. Um, All right. I'm a certified a nutritional detox specialist. So okay. um, I take the focus of uh, nutritional science. So that that focus um, relies on uh, gut microbiome balance, uh, the accessory organs, um, uh, taking them out of inflammation. So that way, enzyme production, storage, functionality, and release is um, uh, operating at the level that it should be inside of the body. Uh, mineral restoration um, uh, and um, uh, plant-based eating, mm -hmm. uh, as well as hydration. So many people are dehydrated; they don't drink enough water. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, if you ever see these people walking around with you know legs bigger than their upper body, um, it's because they don't drink enough water, um, mm -hmm. and they haven't drank enough water, and um, so uh, I, I deal with chronically sick people. And, you know, when, when you look at the statistics, um, you know, you have uh, approximately, um, uh, and I'm sure that the, the number has grown, but the last time I looked, 50% mm -hmm. um, of Americans are um, overweight or obese. And with that comes multiple comorbidities like diabetes, um, constipation, and um, all of those things eventually will lead to uh, cancer. And um, uh, colorectal cancer is, is just skyrocketing on the statistics chart. And it's because there's, there's, there's toxins in the food, water, personal care products like deodorant. So, you know, it, it, it's, everybody's exposed to the same stuff. Everybody's eating the same stuff. Everybody's showering and in contaminated water everybody mm -hmm. has heavy metals everybody has candida overgrowth because they're eating trash food everybody 80 percent of americans have parasites and they don't even know it their pets have parasites you know i i was talking to somebody recently and um i had mentioned you know pets dragging their butt across the carpet and she's like well what does that mean i'm like usually it's parasites and i said and then you're walking on the carpet because she was like, how did I get parasites? And so, you know, it's, it's, it's really kind of interesting to see that most people um, don't know about any of these issues. Most people don't know where to look um, unless they see something like on TikTok or um, Instagram, um, which, um, you know, I'm, I'm on both. Um, so, you know, I, I get a lot of you know, questions where people are like, you know, I, I didn't know that diarrhea was a, was a symptom of, of parasites, or I didn't know that constipation and bloating were a, a symptom of um, candida overgrowth. So um, uh, I do a lot of um, virtual, I'm also a, a certified live blood analyst. So, you know, I can take a drop of blood and it goes um, between two microscope slides and it goes live on a computer screen and we can actually see real time how well you're digesting proteins, fats, wow. and sugars, the presence of uric acid crystals, um, parasites, candida, mineral, key mineral deficiencies, things like that. Uh -huh. um, and then from there, I, I, I'm able to make recommendations, you know, everybody, you know, I, I don't think there's one person that needed the same thing, right? Um, so, right. So it's, um, it's one of those things where I make supplement recommendations and then I have guides that, um, I provide to people and, um, to, to kind of help them move through. And then if people want yeah. additional coaching with me, uh -huh. um, they can, they can do that as well. And some people I need the handhold thing, right? They need the, the yeah. guidance. They need the, um, um, the, Hey, go this way and, and, you know, and don't stop. So, um, hopefully that answers your, your question. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause it's, I'm always amazed 
that there are so many people who are just totally unaware of any of the things that you've mentioned, right? That that there's any anything wrong with all the food they've been eating, with the sugar, with the wheat, um, you know, um, with the with everything that's. I mean, not even just doing just just doing organic can help um, with so many people. At least as a starting place on your own. Yeah, and you don't right. have to do everything at, at once, but you know some of these people no. are chronically sick and they can't get out of bed. Like, I mean, is it mm-hmm. they need a lot of, at, at once because they're, they're you have to understand when they're chronically sick, they're not absorbing you know food, water, or medications. Right. So you know, like yeah. I mean, they you you really have to do a lot more add supplements in digestive enzymes, probiotics, mm-hmm. prebiotics, plant-based proteins to be able to help get you to a place where um, yes. you start to feel better. But, um, but yeah, I, I agree. Most people don't know. Um, most people, um, uh, they are, like you mentioned, addicted. They're addicted to processed sugar. They're addicted to um, the food. And I would I would go out on a limb and say that um, the the biggest addiction problem in this country is is not a drug problem. Um, it is not um, anything related to alcohol. It is processed sugar. Mm-hmm. That is the the biggest addiction in America, and we don't talk about it. We yeah. don't put it in a context for people. We, we don't do anything like that. And so many people are influenced by media. So it's one of those situations where yeah. if the media is not talking about it, then you're not hearing about it and it doesn't, doesn't exist. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh no, absolutely. Absolutely. And the media, <clears throat> excuse me, the media absolutely is supporting it. I mean, they're the ones who are getting all the money from the ads that are on the television stations and the radio stations and all of that sort of thing. So it's kind of like, why would they, why would they bite the hand that's feeding them? Uh, right. Well, there, there's like six, six or seven huge corporate conglomerates that mm-hmm. have a food arm, a finance arm, a medical arm. So they all feed each other. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, it's like, well, we, we got to keep people sick. I mean, if, if people think that, that, that these conglomerates are not intentionally poisoning the population, then um, wake up because uh, there is an agenda in place to keep you mm-hmm. sick, keep mm-hmm. you on medication, get you mm-hmm. into, into surgeries and things like mm-hmm. that. So that way they can continue profit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. And, you know, I, there's even some of them that aren't even aware that that's what it is that they're doing. They're just trying to make money. Right. So it's just, which is, sometimes I'm not sure if that's better or worse, <laughs> but uh, we, we won't go down that road. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And it. I was just seeing up, up on your, your, um, <sighs> don't even know what they're called anymore. Uh, thing with all the, the topics and stuff that, um, talking about obesity, which we, we, you mentioned already. I'm, I'm just amazed at, at, at how much worse it's gotten over like the last 20 years. Well, you have, yeah, I, th- I think it, you know, started in the 70s, you know, where, where, mm-hmm. you, where you had all these canned goods and microwave yeah. dinners, and it, it just progressively got worse um, for people because um, they're, they're, there's, there's more additives to uh-huh. um, these foods, like dyes, which are horrible for the body. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so uh, um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, the these people have been eating like trash since they were born. And like, again, it's an addiction. And um, every decade that somebody has been eating like trash, it's one whole year of detox. Like when people are like, oh, I just need one supplement. No, you don't. You need to be on supplements for anywhere from, you know, 60 to 90 to, you know, a full year. 
you know, and then, you know, you have um, the other aspect um, of the equation, which is 30 to 40% of the population has, has an MTHFR defect mm. that's our detox gene. So, you know, if somebody's got one or, or, or a double defect with that gene, their body's not detoxing properly. Their enzyme functionality is completely off. They're in inflammation because their homocysteine levels are so high that the body can't regulate them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you, you have these people who, who don't know anything and they just know that they feel bad. So, yeah. you know, like, um, you know, I, I always tell people, I'm like, there's, there's not a lot of, you know, people